welcome back to another vlog so today we're literally sitting in next to i'm not even gonna say in the parking lot because there's no parking lot we're sitting next to our hotel kent just ran inside so that he can check in because we are here in downtown brooklyn getting ready to go see kendrick today is the day of the kendrick concert i am super excited we're both super excited today already has been a journey and obviously i haven't shown any any of it to you guys because it's just it's been too much earlier this morning we went to goodwill to drop off some donation stuff then we had to come back home like get something to eat come back home pack up our like overnight bag because like i said we had to come to brooklyn from jersey um and now we have to like run inside it's literally already past five o'clock the show starts at 7 30 but it's like up the street like two blocks away or so um and we have to like hurry up and eat our food we just got some food for dinner and change our clothes and like head to the concert and i literally i'm just i'm just so excited i'm just ready to check in and ready to go so can't went inside to see where the parking garage is because he um we made sure to get a hotel that had a parking garage because if you know anything about new york new york city brooklyn there's no parking like parking is terrible so yeah that's what he's doing and Hopefully we'll check in with you guys soon after we finally get our lives together. What up, bro? We on our way to see our fave. Our fave. Don't address him unless unless you say it with four letters. You feel me? We about to see the GOAT, Mr. Morale, and, and the, the Big, big steppers. steppers. If you don't know who we talk about by now, Mr. Kendrick Lamar. We're on our way. We're walking. We're in downtown Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. playing at Barclays. At Barclays, you know, at the crib. Basically. So, yeah, we here. About to enjoy ourselves. Hopefully they don't make us go back to the room with this camera. Right. <laughs> but I good doubt thing it, is, though. yeah, I doubt it. But good thing is, even in the case, we're right here. dropped off our deposit so we applied got approved and just dropped off our deposit for apartment number what? one numero uno apartment number one <laughs> our favorite apartment like yes, it's the one that we wanted it was the yeah the one that we wanted from the beginning the one that was like i don't know we we just had to pull a draw to it yeah so yeah I am excited. Super excited. We officially move in. Our move in date is three weeks from yes, no, yeah, yesterday. yesterday. Three weeks from yesterday. So we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of packing to do. Yeah. And a lot, of a lot of everything to do because you already know when you're moving, it's a whole process. We got to get internet. We gotta get insurance. We gotta get 
just all the things all the adulting yes. gas and lights and like all the adult things that you have to get um but we're excited overall like it's just a very exciting time um we've had a very busy like i don't even know we've had a very busy few weeks month like i feel like august already has just been super busy like yep and it's been flying by it's been flying by it's been fun but it's been stressful but it's been fun but it's been blessed yeah. so it's just yeah but we are currently on our way to marshall's um and then we're just gonna run some errands get some food but we just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know the news give you a bit of an update <laughs> One week later. Hello, peoples. Hello, people of Townsville. People of Townsville. So, today is Saturday, as per usual. We usually vlog on the weekends, by the way. I don't know if you guys know that, but we usually do. Um, today is Saturday, and we're headed out to... Well, right now we're going to Duncan. Yeah for some breakfast it is like 11 o'clock and then we are going to head over to the crate and barrel outlet right that's where we're going yes first okay yet again the crate and barrel outlet um we have plans of going to ikea i don't know you guys will you guys will follow along and, and find out all exactly. of all of what's gonna happen today exactly because we just we have a little bit of a plan but it's not like you know we're just we're just going off of vibes we freestyling out here. we're freestyling today you said there's the what chairs too oh they have that table i see Yeah, that's the door for this. How do you feel about this? I like it. I've been like this. Because we want a brown medium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel like even if it's stained. Yeah, you can just stain it darker. Room. Yeah, I like this. Because even if we could, we take the legs off. So we're currently over here looking at these bar stools because they're giving something. 
What do you have? So I have to pick this up because you know the the um, serving tray that I got. Yeah. So just like imagining like this. Yeah, because like, this would be for the, the kitchen. White, like, yeah. The wood elements that we're gonna have in the kitchen are gonna be like this tall. Yeah. So putting this against like the white of the countertop with the chairs. I think would just be good. We're pretty obsessed with these stools, I think. Yeah. I think, honestly. If I, I didn't even show you guys what the other stools were that we were gonna get. They only have one. I don't know if you can see that. Quick update, y'all. Did we, where did we park? Okay. Right up front. Um, as you see we us. Got, we got the stools. We got the stools. So, you know, very excited about that. Th those stools are, um, we definitely fell in love with them from once the other stools that we showed you earlier, like, were gone. Like, they were there at the same time, but they were, like, a really good option as well. Actually, I feel like they're probably a better option for our space and what we're planning on doing with it. So, very excited about that. Um, we purchased them. They're going to be delivered on the morrow very happy to get those because stools are one of those things that you're either going to find some really nice ones or some really <laughs> like or some cheap. really cheap looking ones yeah. and even if they're not super cheap like and this is no shade to nobody but we especially for this space have a very specific vision yeah. of how we want it to look and we mm. don't want no metal leg yeah no plastic seat stools yeah. <laughs> like, that's like, just not the vibe to be very earthy and like yeah rooted we, we want it to feel like us yeah and while we do have a, an industrial vibe to us this isn't the space for industrial yeah this so. is not an industrial apartment so yeah yep it's hot on to the next stop what is the next stop but we're gonna go figure our lives out and check back in. So we just made it to Ikea, second stop of the day. I feel like today's been a good day so far. Obviously we already told you guys that we got the bar stools. We're also getting a very, you know, something else that's a very big purchase that we're very excited about that we're not going to tell you about yet but you're going to see it soon um but a lot of furniture is getting bought today <laughs> which is making us very happy because we that was the plan yeah we've been waiting and waiting and waiting and we're like okay this weekend is going to be the weekend that we like make some decisions on some furniture we did like a mood board and everything for our shopping trip just so we can kind of get a vision of the living room in particular the living space in particular for like the color scheme the textures blah 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 so right now we're getting ready to go in ikea and my main goal i really want to find or at least get a better idea of some coffee table options because our coffee table that we have on the mood board is giving me vibes so Hopefully we can find something similar to that and yeah, I'm excited. This is my first time here. Have you ever been to Ikea? Never. I've, we've never been to an Ikea before. Isn't that crazy? So this is about to be fun. I feel like I like that one over there too. I like that. I like that. These are so good. 
I like that this has red pieces in it. Mm -hmm. And while it is a pattern, it's not as busy. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of space in it. Yes, that's the space. That's a, it's a lot of space while also still being very normal. Yeah. Because that's definitely a thing. Like, I want to get some more things that's gonna which obviously with like the decor pieces and, our, and we want a mid-century modern yeah afrocentric yeah i love that rug i just really love that it's, it doesn't fit our space it but. doesn't but it's really cute this is a square pillow. yeah we got a lot of those i don't know if they're 20 by 20 but You know I love it. You know I love it, right? You know I love that, right? Yeah. That is so. Can y'all see that? That one right there. And they got a brown one too. They have a brown one? Yeah. This is cute. Yeah, that's closer. Well, not closer, but that's similar to what you have on a the picture. There's another little. Uh, yeah. Geometric. Yeah, geometric. I couldn't think of a word. The black and white one. Yeah. That's fun. With the little fringe tassels on it. What you see, yeah. Uh, right here. Ooh, oh no, you're playing with me. <laughs> I think I would want a lighter floating shelf as opposed to a darker one. I feel like we have a mixture of blacks and light wood in our vision at the moment. So that's what I'm trying to keep in mind. Is it like a lantern? Mm -hmm. Things like this are so cute, but we have no use for them yet because we have recess lighting, yay. This is my bag right here. It's like plant heaven. Which plants do you want, babe? Fig. Okay, let's show them. Let's show them what they are, so they know what we're talking about. Okay, this is a fig, a fiddle fig. We had a yucca plant before. This is a yucca plant, which we have enough sunlight now for us to get another one. But I don't know if I want another one of those quite yet. Um, they have all the baskets over here. This is what I want. I want a Z plant. One of these. Yeah. Which I think, I think that something like that would actually be cute on the island. Like in a tray, like in a proper pot and like in a tray. These pothos is out over here looking set. Look how they, look how they, done got the pothos dead like that why would you keep this right here yeah that's it's criminal and then these are majesty palms which we already have one in the house now i don't see any bird of paradise though which is kind of upsetting me and my homegirls this one is a money tree these are tall money trees and these plants in here are cheap oh it's a little baby one this is a bird of paradise. This is like my dream plant. There's a little baby one over there. That is a funky this little piece. Right yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I like this I like, one. I like this one, but I like the bulkiness of this one. Like I like how sturdy it looks. Yeah, and then they have that other one over there. It's more rectangle, but it's rounded edges. Oh, and then they have the smaller version of that, yeah. so it could be like so a module be, situation. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. That's a cool look. Yeah, I like that. Because by itself, it looks kind of 
by itself it looks kind of like plain but when you pull the other one in there it does make it this one is 119 that's probably like 60 or 70. It doesn't say oh no it's supposed to be like that oh it is this is set of two. Oh well then yeah okay so the whole thing is 120. Nice. that's great yeah if it's not as warm we could mm. still stain it a little yeah dark mm -hmm. like this is cool but i just don't like the, don't like the rails is, yeah so here we are welcome to our kitchen um, we went with the butcher black countertop yes we went with dark with the dark cabinetry with the you know open face cabinets because you know we have nice things so we want you to see it with the with the black and white uh, backsplash. Don't mind the price tags. We we just haven't taken them off yet. <laughs> We're over here looking at the showrooms in IKEA, and we love this one. This one is very much our vibe. It's giving. I don't know what it's giving, but it's giving. Everything that we want. Yes, it's giving our taste. Like the black and white, the yeah. clean, the and rustic. And like to be fair. If this would be our kitchen it'll probably be green it would be green the cabinets would be green i but have a dream else would be yeah guys i have out so I'm, let me tell you the modifications i have a dream of green cab uh counters i mean cabinets yeah. green cabinets butcher block countertops but like for the island or and or then concrete, concrete. Yeah. but also i want both yeah. butcher block island concrete countertop with the wooden to match the island butcher block the wooden open shelving mm -hmm. with the stainless steel to dark to black like this kind of stainless steel like the almost black stainless steel appliances mm -hmm. that's the dream i would like these like industrial finishes with the piping and everything it's gonna happen i'm telling you it's gonna happen okay we're manifesting welcome to mm -hmm. cooking with kenton we're going to have a kitchen like this yes but better way better but even better but like in this. the future in our house we're gonna have a house yes say it with me we're, we're gonna, gonna have, have a house, house and it's gonna have a kitchen like this but even better even better oh my god oh my god so jesus christ <laughs> that was a lot that was so, i can't even mind you the sun is blinding me right now so i don't if we're not in frame i apologize but bro, my feet hurt so bad i need a drink I'm very curious to know how many steps we just got. I need to look at my Fitbit. I have my Fitbit on. I need to look at my Fitbit because why in the world was that the longest trip to a singular store that I've ever experienced in my entire life? It was, it was so much. But let me tell you how we just got lost. Yeah. Are we walking past our car? No. Okay. We parked this far down. <laughs> How was your first trip to Ikea? A lot. And if you've ever seen the movie Vivarium, after a while, that's what it started feeling like. Oh like, especially God. when we started looking for the exit, it felt like that There was that no first exit. Night, yes. Like you said, the store was designed for you to keep, sh I, keep I kept saying continue shopping. Yeah. Continue shopping. That's all I saw. Continue shopping. They no. don't want you to, they don't want you to get out. You're not leaving until you have something. Anyway, so if you're an avid Ikea shopper, Thank you for not warning us. You didn't tell us anything. <laughs> you didn't but tell us we know now that the next time we go, we have to have plans yeah. of exactly what it is that we're looking for so we could just go to the section. Yeah. So we could just go to where the tables are, just go to where the plants are, just go to where the dressers are, whatever it is that we're looking for. Because mm. my God. But the, it was nice. It I, was I'm, nice. They have a lot of options in there that we um, liked. I, lo I love the rugs. I love the kitchen. Yeah, the rugs was my favorite part. I love the kitchen, like the mock setup they had for the kitchens. Like I seen a few of them that I actually really liked a lot. I seen things in every section that I really liked and things that in the future, just depending on like styling and like all of those things that I'd be interested in. Um, so Ikea, good store, good store. Yeah, I feel like if, especially if we ever want to do more of like an industrial vibe. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, it's for like, sure. Yeah, because currently in our, you know, mid-century modern vibe. Nobody has mid-century, let me say this. 
Nobody has mid-century modern stuff. What is that about? Like only, only the high-end people. Only, only CB2, yeah. West Elm. Mm -hmm. Like the stores that are extremely expensive, except for our house. Our house has more like traditional. Yeah, farmhouse. Farmhousey furniture, and so does Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is more of like a farmhousey. Mm -hmm. I feel like because of where they're based like where yeah. they were originally from mm. but yeah like all like this what we're into is very hard to find unless yeah. you're one gonna pay high prices for it two mm. you're going to diy it three you're going to thrift it yeah. so i feel like our next trip that we need to make is like to some thrift stores like i definitely want to go to brooklyn and like hit some thrift stores some antique shops so if you have any recommendations if you live in the area and you have any recommendations for like maybe your local thrift stores or like places that you have found some like good pieces mm -hmm. definitely drop them down below yes. also nurseries too like if you're just like a, a vintage thrifter leave those but also nurseries like plant nurseries mm -hmm. there's a few like plant stores because we also do want some black owned things for sure for sure so like if you like i said if you have any recommendations on stores or like just places that you like to shop or if you know somebody who knows somebody let us know leave it in the comments down below We're at bubbles. Bubbles. Um, if you don't know i don't know what would you classify this as a sports bar yeah it's like sports bar vibes I got a pina colada. Yep. I got a Long Island. I got a Long Island. They're both very good. Very good. I want another one. I didn't even finish my, my first one. Yeah. Game. We're about to dig in. About to dig in.